Hello students, this is Mr. Belay, and I'm here to go over the sarcophagus sculpture with you. Uh, this is something you can include when creating your pyramids in Ms. Meisberger's class, uh, and I'm going to go through uh, looking at the details of the sarcophagus and how to uh, sculpt it. So let's get started. Uh, for one, I find these to be fascinating. You know, not only the Egyptians with their beliefs of um, their gods and their afterlife and this meticulous preparation of mummifying people to preserve them and help them enter the afterlife. Look at these sarcophagi. I mean, they are detailed. They have designs and patterns, of course, hieroglyphics. Um, these are amazing works of art, and they're literally thousands of years old, and we still have them uh, to look at today. It's just amazing. Um, but if you want to go see a real sarcophagus with a real mummy, you don't have to travel to Egypt. You can literally go to Pittsfield at the Berkshire Museum uh, to check out the mummy that they have on hand. This is the real deal. Um, it, it's really cool. And they have like an electronic touch screen in the background. You can see it up there. Um, you can click on different parts and like learn about the life that this person had when they were alive. Um, you know, here it is thousands of years later, really something else. Um, one of the most impressive uh, sarcophagus uh, pharaohs, in my opinion, I can't even pronounce that name. Everyone just says King Tut. Uh, King Tut, super cool. Uh, I mean, here is the tomb uh, with the King Tut down there. I guess the actual outside is not that impressive. It's not in one of these gigantic pyramids, um, but look at the gold on this sarcophagus. Um, these hieroglyphics along the back, this beautiful like shining face. It's got the big beard coming down. Um, I want to go see this in person. I'm not sure if this is in Egypt or where it is, but um, I would love to see uh, actual King Tut there. It's That's just epic. Um, so let's get into the actual sculptural part of this project here. Um, I did the whole thing in time lapse, so I'm going to do a lot of pausing and then kind of point things out for you. So let's hit start. You know, you get your piece of clay, you got a little variety of tools. I do suggest having some water on hand because there's gonna be times the clay is gonna start to dry out and you're gonna wanna smooth it down with a little water, get rid of the cracks and everything. Um, but the first step is really shaping it. Let's try to pause it without my hands in a way. Um, I mean, there is definitely kind of a triangular shape here. It is, you got the round part for the head, you have these curved parts of the shoulders, and then it gets more narrow as you go down. You're going to want to pinch that clay, push on it, squeeze it. This is part that dried out for me, so I had to dip my fingers in water and smear it all over. Um, but first, you're going to want to lay out the basic shape of it. Um, I did flip it over and put my name in the back. You know, name on your paper first thing, name on your sculpture first thing, um, so that you don't forget to do it later. And once these dry, you don't get them confused with anyone else's. Um, so... This is technically a base relief. Um, an art or relief is any kind of artwork that rises up above the surface. This is only rising up a little bit. So uh, to be technical, you would call it a base relief. High relief, you'd have major things uh, coming up off the surface. This is just popping up a little bit. So to get the actual face, don't just carve a face into it. You want it to stick up a little bit. Um, so let's see, I got a pinched it. Oh, to get it on there, I blend the edges. You're pushing it. This is air dry clay. It's different than regular clay, um, but still you push it on there. It's going to hold, but I do suggest just blending the edge of it. So it really has a nice, um, you know, attachment there. Um, now I start carving the face, figure out what tools work best for you. Oh, and I did pinch a little chunk of clay off of initially, just so I'd have something to work with the face and the headdress that's going to come down. If you notice also in this face, like why is that thing sticking out? I'm trying to make a, a, a male. So if they have that long beard coming down, so that's what that little thing is sticking down there. Um, so the face itself, you know, I actually use a pencil to poke the eyes in, just use some little carving tools. Um, you're going to want to push down. Don't just carve it like the shape of a nose. You push down so the nose protrudes up a little bit. Like I push down on the cheeks, which makes the nose look like it's popping up. Carve a little line for the lips. Again, don't get hung up. This is it's hard to make a perfect face, um, you know, human face. But as long as you got the eye section, the nose, the mouth, 
Uh, I mean, it's female. You don't have the long chin. You just have a regular chin there. Um, I think that's good enough. You know, it's going to look like a sarcophagus there. Um, now, it does have this headdress, these parts that come down. So I did make those separately. There we go. And added them on and then blended the edges to get it to stick on there. And I think those little bits that make that base relief really helps make this look more like a sarcophagus instead of a flat thing with everything just carved into it. Pieces that rise up, um, I think is going to make this look more authentic to it. So I am adding in some details there. Oh, and they do have ears. I noticed if you look at the handout that I made, cause that's got some like real sarcophagus. So you can see like they do have the ears popping out. I made mine too big. If I could do it over again, I'd make them tiny little things and pop them on there. Um, so I guess my, my sarcophagus here, this person's got some big ears. Um, details in the, like the body, the torso, the body going down there. Um, look at the handout, definitely little designs, little patterns that repeat. I tried using a little variety of tools to either make the lines in there or the, like these little mark making, mark making with, uh, your tools into the clay there. Um, going down along the front, ooh, I went a little quick there. Um, I just put some little designs, like a pattern of dots. And then I try to make it look like hieroglyphics. I used a little needle tool. I'm not, this is too small for the, the, to make actual hieroglyphics. So I just made little squiggly lines and details, um, just to resemble, uh, hieroglyphics coming down the body there. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I'll just show it again, shaping the overall shape there, adding on the head and the headdress. And of course, working with adding designs coming down, going across. Um, I'm very interested to see how these uh, sarcophagi come out. So please make sure, um, you know, have Ms. Meisberger take a picture with like a phone or something. She can text it to me because um, I want to see pictures of what yours looks like, um, you know, as you make it. And of course, the finished product there. Um, and of course, I, I want to see these pyramids as well. Um, that's a pretty exciting project that you're doing, uh, you know, outside of the art room. So uh, my friends, good luck with these sculptures. Um, yeah, best of luck, my friends. I can't wait to see them. Thank you very much. All right, goodbye.